In some of the previous tutorials, we learned about the cloth dynamics as well as the fluid system inside of Blender. Now we're going to look at the rigid body simulation for Blender and learn how to set up a basic simulation. We'll also learn about some of the key parameters to adjust in order to get your rigid bodies working how you want. So we have the basic default Blender scene open up here and we're going to use this cube to make the shape of a domino. We're going to have this rigid body simulation kind of have be dominoes falling over. So we're going to just press S on our keyboard, go into scale mode, and then we can press Z to lock it into the Z axis and kind of scale, scale this cube up. Press S again, and this time press X to lock it into the X axis. Kind of scale it in there. And now we'll press S to go into scale mode again. And this time press Y. Scale it along the Y axis. All right, that looks good. Now we can just translate this up kind of on top of our grid there. All right, so we need more dominoes to actually create the domino falling effect. So let's go ahead and duplicate this a couple times by pressing Shift D on our keyboard and then just moving it out. Shift D and we're just gonna repeat this a couple of times until we have a couple dominoes here. And we can even start rotating these a little bit. So I'm gonna press R on the keyboard there and then press Z to rotate it in the Z axis. And we're gonna kind of start curving these dominoes just a little bit, just to make kind of some more interest in this domino here, instead of having them just fall in a perfect straight line. Press Z again to kind of lock it in on the Z axis there. Start positioning these, Shift D again to duplicate that. Press R and then Z to rotate along the Z axis. All right, I'm kind of move that one. Okay, so we have some, the dominoes are starting to curve there. And I'm going to select this last domino here. And I'm going to duplicate this one. And we can just move that. And maybe just duplicate that one more time. All right, so we have some dominoes set up here. And they're starting to curve. And you can really set however many you want up. I'm just going to keep it kind of small for this tutorial here. Okay, let's go ahead and select this end domino here. And we need to go set the physics up for this domino. Let's go over here to our properties panel. I'm just gonna kind of scale this out so we can see more of the different properties we have available on our header there. We're gonna go to this very end with the physics. Now we're gonna go to rigid body. And this is gonna apply a rigid body to this domino we have selected. It's right now it's select to active. So now if we play our simulation in the viewport, we see our domino kind of just falls into endless 3D space, which isn't really what we want. We not want to have these dominoes kind of falling, falling over there. So we need to set up a floor for that. Let's go over here to create plane. And we're going to drop in a plane. And we'll kind of just move this down here. Press S on our keyboard. Scale that up to somewhere around there. We can just move it over. All right, that looks good. We move it up just slightly. So now let's set this plane to be a passive rigid body. So again, on the physics panel, we can go to rigid body and change this type to passive. So that means the active rigid bodies will be able to interact with this passive rigid body. So this plane will act as our floor here. So now we can see that the domino falls, kind of stays in place there. You can see it kind of moving around slightly, but it slowly kind of comes to a settle there. All right, so now what we want to do is apply this same active rigid body we have on this first domino to the rest of the dominoes here. We could select each one of these individually go to rigid body and apply that active rigid body. Or we could go ahead and just marquee select the rest of these dominoes here. So what we're gonna do is select this first domino here with the active rigid body. We can press B on our keyboard to go to marquee selection. I'm just gonna drag a selection on the rest of the dominoes there. And we're gonna go over here to the physics on our toolbar and select copy from active. 
So it's gonna copy this domino we have selected. Any of the rigid bodies on that is gonna be copied along these selected dominoes here. So with that, now if we play back the simulation, we can see that all the dominoes have that same rigid body set on them and they kind of fall onto the floor there. So in order to have these dominoes begin to fall, we need to have something interact with them and kind of push them in that direction. So let's go ahead and go over here to create and let's just drop in another cube and we're just gonna translate that right behind this domino here. Make sure it's in the right position. Okay. And we're gonna go over here and turn on the auto keyframe, as well as the auto keyframe insertion. So now if we move this cube, we can see that keyframe gets placed. But before we do that, we need to make this cube an active, or sorry, a passive rigid body. So we're gonna go over here to our physics panel and select rigid body. We're gonna change this to passive, but we're gonna make sure we check the animated. So this is gonna allow us to animate this passive rigid body so we can apply regular keyframe animation to it. So again, we have the auto key on, so we can kind of move this cube slightly and it'll set a keyframe there. And now let's go to around, say frame 25, and we're just gonna translate this cube forward until it touches that first domino there. And now if we play back the simulation, check out what happens. <laughs> the dominoes begin to fall over there. How cool is that? All right, so now I wanna kinda of go over some of the basic parameters you can adjust to get these kinda of falling a little bit differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this end domino here and we can expand our physics panel out just a little bit. And you can see we have a couple different options here. We have the shape option, and this is basically the boundary around your mesh. So right now we have a convex hole, and there's also box, sphere, capsule, cylinder. So if you had a cylinder shape, you would wanna use the cylinder, as well as mesh. So if you have kind of a complex mesh, you'll wanna use that if you have it set for a rigid body. And we also have the mass. And this basically affects how much this domino weighs. So the higher that is, the heavier it's going to be. And then there's also friction and bounciness. So the friction is how much it's gonna slide on the floor. And the bounciness is basically how much it's gonna bounce when it hits the floor there. So if we kind of bring this up here and play back the simulation, you might see some different results on this end domino there. You see it bounces just a little bit more as it hits the ground there. So that's kind of the some of the things you can adjust to get different results for your simulation. All right, great. So we learned a bit about the rigid body tools in Blender and some of the basic parameters to adjust. And the next tutorial will dive deeper into some of the more advanced physics systems inside of Blender. So make sure to check back to the Digital Tutors blog for more free tutorials.